Welcome to Little John's Yarns. It's time for another crochet gadget and review, but this one's going to involve knit also. So what we're going to be looking at here today is called the Red Suricata Adjustable Size Sock Blocker. This comes in a pair of one or two. For pair one, it costs $27.95. I have Amazon Prime, so it's free shipping. I've never used sock blockers before, so we're gonna have a little experiment going on. I have three type of socks that we are gonna block today. We are gonna block a knit sock. This sock was knit by my mother-in-law. We are gonna block a crochet sock, and we are going to block a sock that was made on my Addy Circular Knitter. So I'm not gonna to talk too much. We're gonna get right down to the table and see how this thing works. The reasons why you would want to block a sock is to give your sock a more uniform look and better stitch definition. As you can see, this sock is very crinkly and needs to be blocked, but we're going to do that shortly. So let's take a closer look at this sock blocker right here. Typically when you buy a sock blocker, you need a small, medium, or large depending on your size. What's great about this one is completely adjustable. They have size sizes in US and European sizes and check it out in men and women. So for size men sizes, you get five all the way up into a size 11 and a half. For a women, five and a half all the way up to 11. And this is their, I guess, patent pending technology. You can move it to whatever size that you need. Let's say you need a size 11 and a half for women. You just take this arrow and put it right there. And I guess that's an EU sizes, 42. So today we're gonna be working with a seven and a half. Before we get into blocking, I found out this awesome crochet hack. This is personally for designers or people who don't have their own models with them. So check this out. I've never made a crochet sock a day in my life. I've modeled this sock without having a model. I decided I wanted to make a seven and a half. All I did was pretty much crochet trace the whole thing and perfect seven and a half. And we're gonna see if this actually fits a size seven and a half, cause I have my trusty foot right here. So we're gonna try this on this sock, this sock on this foot to see if it fits a size seven and a half. But first we're gonna wet block these socks. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with some warm water and place our um, sock inside. A lot of people like to use wool wash, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna put it in here, wet it completely. This is called wet blocking and gently squeeze out the water. You don't want to twist or uh, rub your work because you don't want your yarn to felt together. So squeeze that out. We're gonna place this on a towel and dry it off. Now that we have our sock all dry, all we have to do is put it on the knit blocker. These are actually pretty large pair of socks. These are a size 13, I believe. Let's see, they slide right on and I don't see any catching. And there we go. They are a little long. And oh, I forgot to add, there's a little hook on here that you can hang it to dry. All right, I'm gonna block my other socks and we're gonna come back and see how all these look when they're finished. Now that our socks are dry, we're gonna take a look at our three socks, our crochet sock, our hand knitted sock, and our machine knitted sock and see how they turned out. So let's first look at our crochet sock. I'm gonna leave a picture above so you can see the before and after. As you can see, there is not much change in the sock. I'll let you know what yarn I use for this. I use the Paint Pox yarn. This is a DK yarn, a size three, and it is acrylic. So I'm guessing because of the crochet stitches, um, it held more of a shape and it is a thicker yarn. But what was wonderful about this, I was able to create my own crochet sock without having the model right by me. So I find that difficult sometimes. So this is the result of my seven and a half crochet sock. It came out absolutely perfect. So if anything, I'm able to use this to make any size sock so I know exactly what the size is. All right, so let's look at our next sock. The next sock, we're going to look at the machine knitted sock that was made on my Addy Circular Knitter. These are a little bit more difficult to make socks on because it only has 22 needles. All right, I'm gonna show you the before and after of this one. As you can see, there is a little bit more change. You can see there's some more shape to the sock and it looks a little bit better. But once again, this is a thicker of yarn. This one is a Barnett Premium Yarn. This is a worsted weight yarn, which is a size four and acrylic. All right, so we're gonna put this down and test it out on our very last one. This one, the hand knit sock, this is made in a uh, sock yarn, which is, I believe, a uh, number one weight yarn. Look at the before and after of this picture. 
it is so completely different. This sock was made from wool, 75% wool and nylon. It is a brand new sock. Look at it. On the before picture, the socks were so scrunched up. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal if you're just making the socks for yourself, but if you're giving away these socks as a present, I definitely recommend blocking it, especially if you're using a thinner yarn. I block many items before, like clothes, but this is the very first time doing socks. So I'm ready to give you a review on these sock blockers. On a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm gonna give this five balls of yarn. You have three uh, sizers in one, small, medium, and large, and your socks turn out so nice. For crocheters, I like it because I'm able to size my uh, garments, and it does tighten up the stitches a little better, but I would particularly just use this for sizing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, and make sure you check out all my other reviews. And if you want to know more about the Red Suricata Sock Blocker, I got all that description information down in the description box below. All right, bye, guys.